Hi everyone, welcome. I have Mr. Rajiv Kumar with me, and he's here to share his experience. So it'll be lovely to hear from him. Hi, sir. Uh, uh, where uh, are you from, and like, what do you do? A bit of introduction about yourself. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Rajiv Kumar Singh Gola. Okay, and uh, I uh, I work for ITC right now, and uh, I have been working with ITC since last twenty five plus years in manufacturing domain. I basically come from a very small town of Uttarakhand, and uh, I started my career in 1997. After that, first I joined uh, Modi's Rocks Limited, and then after that, I worked with Madhusudan Nippon Nippon Limited, which is a automotive control cable manufacturer in Gurugram. Uh, now then they have changed the name, I believe. Uh, and then in 1999, I joined ITC. Saharanpur UP, and after that I came to Kolkata. Then I moved to Pune plant. Then I moved to Hyderabad, and then again I am right now with the Kolkata plant since last seven years. Okay, uh, so this is about me as a brief introduction. So uh, I started my Python learning uh, in uh, uh, December. Okay, and. Uh, uh, and within um, uh, though i had a prior experience of excel automation using dba learning python and ai has completely you know transformed my approach of problem solving and the process optimization uh, where i am able to recently i have developed a, uh, my first uh, ai ml model uh, which is as a predictive model which i could able to do with the help of uh, whatever i learned in last 3 4 months uh, from ai for uh, techies so uh, the biggest thing is that uh, uh, this journey of 3 4 months uh, has not only enhanced my technical skills but also uh, uh, you know uh, enhanced my perspective on leveraging you know new age technologies for automation and efficiency Uh, uh so i truly appreciate the structured learning and the guidance i received from ai uh, for techies and uh, which could uh, enable me to apply my knowledge in real world project and uh, as i came from a non it background uh, it is uh, it is really uh, it has really helped me a lot so thank mm. you for empowering me with the knowledge and the skill to innovate and make impactful in my field right thank you so much sir that was uh, very lovely to hear uh, so i did lot of projects on the um, on the excel okay i was doing lot of uh, projects on the excel and but uh, the thing is that whenever you are making a excel sheet and using it yourself okay that is little bit of you know it is easy right but when you want to your uh, excel sheets to be you know uh, to be um, uh, used by other people that becomes then the ball game change means the game yeah. entirely is changed okay you have yeah. to make the tools like in such a way that uh, people should understand what you want to convey what exactly it is so everywhere you have to you know give support to them and that excel platform should be able to give you right so i was doing lot of projects with a with a automate uh, excel automation okay and uh, but later on i realized that uh, excel may work for a very you know, a small uh, domain say i am working in a factory right so that can work in a that can that can work in a very only to the factory specific and other thing was that what if when i go from this factory okay when i am transferred or i change the job so how to control those tools how can i control those tools no and excels are normally prone to corruption and all and once those excels are corrupted then you have nothing to do with nothing okay yeah. the team whoever is working right now and if they are dependent on any of your tool they will be like uh, paralyzed right hmm. so it is again a problem that also gives a you know adaptability will become a difficult for them when they think in that direction mm-hmm. so i was exploring lot of things uh, uh, 
since last one one and a half year and then i realized i i try to you know uh, search how to learn the app building how to learn the website building little bit but because the essence what is available on youtube and the content available on the internet is like you need lot of you know guidance is somewhere some something mm. which is missing which was missing actually yeah so then i came across to uh, um, uh, ai for techies and uh, immediately i felt the mentor sian was there uh, and uh, i asked him few very specific question okay however the fees was high i was not at all ready to pay but he assured me that don't worry about that you know fees and all uh, you can pay in this uh, in the, in in emi and uh, you know uh, and also he gave me some uh, sort of discount as well okay so oh, okay yeah so i got some discount as well and uh, so the fees part i also spoke to my family to be very honest i spoke to my daughter i spoke to my wife whether i should join it or not because at this stage when you start learning something however whatever is your intent of course intent is good only for the yeah. career, either the career progression or doing yeah. something yeah. excellent in your existing domain so they gave a very positive note they said okay you spend whatever you want to spend okay but we will support you in this and uh, so that fees part was clear okay and then i asked sian one more thing that say tomorrow if i learn python okay or if i learn anything which is related to uh, ai field which is or uh, it field which is not of course my domain i will be like a fresher only yeah. in this field yeah so will i get any kind of support will i get a network he also assured me that uh, you will get ne- networking and support as well so that gave me a confidence ki okay let us try at least let us put a attempt if mm. not we will have if something if nothing happens then we will have some experience if something yeah. happens it will be a learning right yeah. and so either side either side the uh, you know uh, the output or outcome what i expected was uh, on a positive side only i started learning but of course as i found that this was one of the area of interest for me because we have done in last 25 year or even in the routine life we do lot of you know technical work lot of technical work full of mm-hmm. the factories are full of technical work yeah every day you have to do something to enhance the equipment efficiency enhance the plant efficiency you yeah. have to improve the upon the quality and all okay but this is something which was new to me that is one part which another thing is this is one of the area which last few years after working on excel automation i realized that my brain works well, well in the python or in the programming actually i will not say python but it is in a programming so i knew little bit of concepts of you know uh, writing a function so at least when uh, mr imam kazi who was he was explaining me about the functions right so i was able to grasp it immediately like mm. because i wrote the same thing in excel vba mm. okay so i was those kind of correlation i was able to do so that also helped me to you know enhance my uh, my uh, learning okay yeah. and then uh, i got exposed to uh, how to because every time whenever the classes are there or the content which is available in in the ai for techies site in my uh, you know domain or in yeah. my login uh, yeah, yeah. i i have i have gone through lot of videos so everywhere they what they have done they have just explained the thing and then how to make it how to do it through ai which mm. is a good part okay yeah. so that also enhanced my learning so i started using ai very frequently i i i am using right now chat gpt copilot julius ai okay now i am planning to do some work with lovable and mm-hmm. maybe mercury so those new ai i have recently come across okay yeah, yeah. so so after going through these things that i understood how to you know what, proceed how mm. to get the direction how to write the prompts that i learned from ai for techies okay mm. so so i am still brushing up my prompts okay but yeah, still yeah, yeah. 
so first cut i could able to learn how to basically i will say this was a foundation what uh, ai for tech mm. is gave me okay yeah. and that helped me to develop lot of things yeah not lot of things means initially i started learning how to you know clean the data how yeah. to make the uh, how to get output in a csv file how the mm. csv file uh, acts in a python environment then right. i got to know from one of the video i got to know that how to download the visual visual studio then i started yeah. working with visual studio and i like that actually very very much i like that visual studio okay yeah. and then google collab okay yeah. jupiter notebook i got within 3 month of a span this all everything came up and i could able to you know practice it and able to correlate with my work yeah okay and as the experience the biggest thing is that when my kind of person who is already into the domain okay when he learns something like this so he is able to correlate or you can say bridge how yeah. how can i use this thing in my work yeah yeah so recently uh, there was one problem i was when i was thinking that okay how to automate the things or what can be automated so there is there was one problem there is one problem actually uh, where we get you know lot of spares okay lot of spares as a uh, from the uh, um, uh, outside you know germany and italy and all okay, okay. because our technology entirely is from outside okay okay, okay so now buying those spares need lot of money right and if you are buying those spares though or those whatever item it is the inventory is crucial right yeah. you cannot make it zero mm. but because it depends your manufacturing facility depends upon those things but you cannot access it so there should yeah. be a proper balance balance yeah yeah and interesting part is this activity is completely manually dependent on the people who are working on the machines on mm. the technology okay so what i am thinking or what i was i was thinking that we should do something to automate this say for example if i you know run a equipment for this many hours okay it should take my past consumption pattern and it should give me some output or some predictive okay this much of amount you require for this particular thing okay so i i got i tried this and i have achieved one level of success but as i was very excited to have this kind of success because the output of that particular model uh, i would say it came 95% i was really surprised i took the data of up to january 25 to train mm-hmm. my model okay and when i took the february data uh, I, my predictive model gave me the consumption of say 90 numbers and right. okay and actually it was 90 hmm. in another case where i use a different technology in different mm-hmm. uh, uh, segment uh, technology yeah. different material yeah uh, predictive model gave me consumption of 183 and actually it was 180 so this such a close you know Accuracy. prediction it was yeah. yeah it was giving me i was really happy so i thought why not to share this with uh, my uh, people with the people who have actually uh, made me to do this right. or enabled me to do this so i spoke to sian for that i am right. uh, i spoke to sian for that that i am going to put my first actually first linkedin post okay mm-hmm. so if you want to add something or if i want uh, if you want something to be done you let me know he gave me uh the contact of uh, yeah both the adityas and then i tagged them in my post okay and interesting part is that entire draft also i made using ai only so, <laughs> so yeah so it was it was really it is it is so far it is a very you know uh, nice experience one thing yeah number 2 i find lot of opportunity in my work domain as right now which is a good part about it so yeah fantastic uh, it I is mean, it is really nice really nice i, I appreciate means the whatever content or whatever uh, structure you have prepared i will i must thank to you 
okay but i hope uh, in later stages also i will get some good support over here yeah, yeah. from you okay. yeah yeah mm, absolutely so, i mean uh, this is it's again it's it's very new you know how you can see of course that there, there's a lot of scope for as you said right as you, as you tell people you you see there's a lot of scope for a lot of automation especially the like like manufacturing where you know you have to repeat processes of course uh, the challenges are pretty random you know they could occur anywhere any time but as you said you know uh, the more we go into it the predictive models more more they'll help us sort of eliminate the uncertainties right and uh, play within the certainty so that's that is fantastic it's it's one of the best things that i've heard from a testimonial point of view and i don't just say that in front of you because uh, of course we have heard testimonials you know people have started making ppts using ai everything and that too is a big step for people who have to make ppts regularly right if you can make ppts that used to take you 4 hours now in 10 minutes that in itself is a big but to be shifting ai domain because manufacturing and the sort of the b2b side of a business right now has not yet been cracked by ai right it's it's more to it's it's more from a customer angle or it's more from a more from a sort of how should i say the technical angle but when you do it in a predictive way for b2b businesses that that really opens up a new space for everything so i i really love it